today we're off to the Caribbean. Last night the kids asked me when am I going to make salt fish again. So today, in memory of my late husband Frank Hector, I'll be making some salt fish and we're going to eat it with sweet potato dumpling the way he showed me how to make it. The best salt fish and dumpling I've ever eaten in my whole life was made by him, Frank Hector. So today I'm going to make it and I'll share the recipe with you. Now normally I make this with all fresh vegetables but because I'm still in quarantine I'll have to use some tin spinach today. So stay with me and we'll take that trip down to Antigua. Now today's ingredients are salt fish. This is fresh from the fisheries, not tin or packet fish. And then some peppers. I'll prefer some green peppers as well, but I don't have any. So for the green, I'm going to use some spinach, some tomatoes, onions and garlic, some fish seasoning and some curry powder. And then I'm going to fry the onions and the veg in some olive oil. No salt today because the fish is salty. So my first step is I'm going to boil the fish in some boiling water for about 20 minutes until it is soft. And then I'm going to debone it, let it cool down and then let it be. Then I'm going to Right, so the fish is now going to boil in the water, clean water, no salt, nothing because the fish is salty. When it's done for about 20 minutes, when it's soft, I'm going to drain it, let it cool down, and then I'm going to flake it and debone it, and then add that to all the vegetables in the pan. Right, all the veg has been washed, my peppers, my tomatoes, garlic i've already washed and sliced my onions and i'm keeping it sliced not cut up fine because it gives body to the dish so my peppers i'm also not going to cut up very small just little just slices now normally i will also boil some aubergine which is eggplants i will boil it mash it and add it to the dish but because of this covid i'm quarantining so I can't go out and buy some aubergine. So that's not in our meal today. So just cut up all the veg. You can cut it how big you want, how small you want, but I just feel the bigger it is, this body to the pot and the lovely colors also give it some character. I'll do all the peppers because these even if the fish is finished the sauce with the veg is still lovely with the sweet potato dumplings I'll do all the veg and then it's going into the pot all at the same time Garlic. I'm preparing this while my fish is boiling. I will be taking it off soon so it can cool down so I can flake it and debone the fish. Because I hate, I know there will always still be one or two bones in there, but I hate eating fish and I have to pull a bone out of my mouth. all the garlic and I'm going to cut up my tomatoes. Just three small tomatoes or two medium tomatoes. Just what you fancy. This I will cut slightly small into little cubes because this is what makes the juice. Right, 
this the fish I've just drained it I'm gonna leave it on the windowsill to cool down after that I'm gonna debone it I'm gonna flake it but not too small because I still want chunks of fish in the pot okay the fish has cooled down I'm just deboning it as much as I can but remember I still want big chunks of fish so just where I see those big ones and I can get to it, I'll take it out. Feel some here. Yeah. Just take this one piece off. Yeah, these are lots of tiny bones in that part there. Just break this. I'm working carefully because I don't want to flake it too small. It doesn't look like there's any there. Remember, this is going to cook again, not too long, in the next step. That's why I did not break it too small, because it will break up again in the sauce. Done. This is the exact same pan Frank used to use when he cooks his salt fish. It's a cast iron pan. It's heavy. It's thick. Now, as soon as this pan comes out, that's the first thing he does before he takes out any of his food. Let's take out this pan. If you see this pan, then you know it's salt fish today. Anyway, I'm gonna put some olive oil at the bottom of the pan. Pan is on high so the oil can heat up a bit. Now this is olive oil. Now he used much more oil than I'm using. Now I don't like oily food, so I'm not gonna put in too much. I'm just gonna wait for that to heat up, and then I'm gonna add the vegetables I remember if I wasn't in quarantine and I could go out and shop I would have had at least two big aubergines eggplant I would slice it boil it mash it and then add it to this dish as well but I don't have that today and I cannot go out so we're gonna have to make do let me just see here. it's not hot enough yet yes it is on high Remember all your veg is going in at the same time because you don't want it to be, it's not a curry or anything, you just want it there for body. And the noise you're hearing is how he's cleaning. So sweet of him. While I'm cooking he does the cleaning. <laughs> oh there, the oil sounds right. Let me just take it up. I'm going to bring the oil down a bit. The pot I'm in. Don't want the onions to burn. Now, no, I'm not doing him frank justice because his fish, his salt fish, was the best. You can ask anyone who ate from his pot. Now, his brother, who lives in London, bless his soul, may rest in peace as well. Evan, he used to travel all the way from London over an hour and a half drive every Easter used to come just for the salt fish and dumplings you will stay here eat a plate or two maybe even three plates of salt fish and dumplings and you will take a big bowl of that home as well because my husband makes a big pot of everyone comes all these kids used to come there's a knock at my door excuse me oh so it's a parcel for her big if you can't go out here once, he can't sit still for one minute. He ordered something, some pipes. It feels like pipes haven't opened it. So he's going to be busy outside now. I'll go and check later on to see what he's doing. Right, so that's the onions. Now I'm going to add the tomatoes. The tomatoes will make that juice, lovely juice that you want. I'm going to add the onions and the garlic. 
garlic so now adding the pepper Let's give this about 2 minutes to cook a bit and I'm going to add my seasoning I'm not adding any salt because the fish is salty I might just taste it later on closer to the end of the meal to see if it does need salt or not but normally, no, I don't add any Right, I'm going to add some pepper and some curry powder. That's the last of the curry powder. Oh, and I've got some chilies. I normally add raw chili as well, but I don't add any. So today it's going to be chili powder, extra hot chili powder, just to give it that taste. It's not hot. And I haven't cooked. Add some garlic as well. I have added garlic, so I'm going to add some extra garlic powder. I'm going to add some water, just waiting for it to boil. I just added some boiling water and some tomato puree, just about two tablespoons of tomato puree. You can use ketchup, whatever you have in your house, just to make that sauce. Now I'm going to add the fish and I'm going to leave that to cook. Not too long because remember the fish is cooked already, but you just want that to be part of the sauce. Let me just make sure it's in the sauce there on the bone there's another one right. now in this at this stage i would have added the aubergine as well that would have been another color to the pot right. so i'm going to put that on medium to low and let that cook for a few minutes Can't wait to taste it. Not taste it. Smells divine. Oh. Oops, not that tight. Oh. Right, so I'm just gonna cover it. Cook on a medium heat for about 12 minutes. I'll stir it, give it a taste. And then we should be good to go. Okay, here's the fish. It has been cooking for about 12 minutes. Just gonna give it a quick stir, not too much, because I don't want to break the fish. It looks delicious. I have tasted it, it tastes just nice. Now remember this is a little salty because if that's why it's called salt fish and sweet potato dumpling. I'm going to leave that off, leave it on the heat, but I'm going to put the pan, the cooker off. And yeah, I've made sweet potato dumplings before. I made this before we went on holiday. The leftovers, I froze it, and now I'm going to boil it. So in here, it's just flour, just normal flour, plain flour, sweet potato grated finely, and coconut grated finely. So sweet potato dumpling with coconut, sweet potato, flour, essence and then the juice of the coconut i've added that with a little water and sugar now the sugar is to your taste so i'm not going to say how much i put in about half a cup of sugar so you just i'll make another video showing you how i made this so this was in the freezer look it still looks good and and yeah let me show you and in there i'm going to let this water boil i'm going to add about half a cup to three quarter cup of sugar I'm going to put a stick cinnamon in there you don't have to but I like flavor so I'm going to add the stick cinnamon I'm going to let that boil and then I'm going to dump this in there 
and when it starts coming up then you know it is almost ready but I'll show you as I go along there the sugar water is boiling I could not find my stick cinnamon I know I had some can't find it so I added a bit of cinnamon powder because my daughter she loves anything with cinnamon so you don't have to add the cinnamon that is just me with my flavory taste buds and now you just dump it in there and when it starts coming up you know it's nearly ready now this recipe I learned from my late husband Frank Hector Leave that. Just keep on lifting it so you don't want it to stick to the bottom of the pot because the pot is quite hot. I'm going to turn it down a little bit, not too much. And then that should boil, I don't know how long, probably about 8 minutes or so. But I'll let you know. So it's now 5 past. I'll let you know when I'm ready to take it out how long it took. There you can see the dumplings are coming up it's puffing out a bit and it looks so delicious has been in now it took three minutes to come up it's been cooking for another five minutes or so eight minutes so far i'm going to leave it in for a bit longer and then i'm going to put the next batch because the next batch will just fall down to the bottom and will come up when it's cooked so i'm going to put the next slot in now as well look at that pot of deliciousness oh look you can just see how delicious that's gonna taste just give it a quick stir in case anything is at the bottom they're all floating at the top which is good so all in all i'm gonna cook it for 12 minutes from the minute being in the pot until i take it out 12 to 14 minutes depending on your cooker but isn't that delicious my mouth is watering already, can't wait. Okay, I'm going to plate it up now. Uh, there's the salt fish. And I've added some spinach because I love my greenery on my plate. So I'm first going to take one dumpling. In the dumpling, the sweet potato, coconut, you can add vanilla essence. Um, cinnamon mixed spice and the juice of the coconut itself and some water with flour mix it all together into a hard dough but that will be another video so I've got my dumpling I'm gonna add let me get a piece of fish in here it's a nice piece of fish I don't want to take too much because the kids love this and some greenery now the green, the spinach, I did not cook it. I just poured it out into, drained it, and poured it into the juices of the hot fish dish. So I'm going to have that now. Mine. I'll probably be having all the spinach. The kids don't love the spinach. But there's my dish. Sweet potato dumpling with salt fish and spinach. Lovely, healthy, hearty meal. I'm going to enjoy this now. So see you later.